Okay, well, next step is to uh, put on the pulley boss, the crank bolt, cut, uh, and uh, put it in neutral, take off the, uh, the parking brake, and then turn the uh, engine using the uh, crank bolt. Okay, I got this on about finger tight. Now there's a little mark right here, this kind of bubble looking thing that I'm assuming that's what the factory service manual is talking about. The uh, tension, uh, the pulley mark. So I haven't uh, tightened this, it's still, it's still fully extended. So what I'm going to do is do one and five six turns of the uh, crank bolt and get this mark, this divot right here in the in the cog, to line up. At least it should line up with uh, with that right there. one okay so coming up on the mark okay uh, I'm guessing that's it right there and from here, we uh, undo the tension on the, uh, the idle, I mean the spring. And that's a 14 millimeter. Yeah. Yeah, so that's just fully free right there. Okay. Okay, now the uh, next step is to uh, tighten the lock nut, I mean tighten this down and you know, torque it down to, I think it said 36 but we have to be careful not to uh, get this pulley to move inward as we're tightening it. And the next step is we're going to uh, Turn the crank bolt again. This time we're going to do a two and one six turn. So that divot should end up back at the uh, little arrow on the block. And from there we should be able to look and see our timing marks, and they should be back exactly where they need to be. That's one. And that's two. Okay. The bottom is lined up. Let's take a look at our up here. Uh, okay. Exhaust is lined up, intake's lined up. We're good. Okay, so from here we're just going to start. Um, well, I need to put the car back in gear, uh, put the emergency brake on, and then tighten the crank bolt down. Um, I think they recommend 
up to 122 foot pounds. Right, quick note, um, before I crank down on the uh, crank bolt, I need to check the deflection over here, make sure that it is bending enough. So I'm going to need a straight edge and a ruler. Um, when you apply uh, 22 pounds of force, Deflection should be between uh, 0.3 and 0.45 inches, which I, I think I'm pretty close. Yeah, it's torquing the, this crank bolt down, and I noticed it's starting to move. So I decided to lower the rear of the car down and put it down on the ground because it's already in gear. So I figured the added weight will help keep it, everything from turning much more. <laughs> okay, well, let's torque down from here. Uh, let's see, we can start uh, putting on the uh, timing belt covers and uh, you know the accessories, water pump, and, and things like that. I'm not going to put on the uh, the valve cover just yet because I want to do something a little special.